My wife wants me to stop going to the gym because a co-worker hit on me. Oh. My wife does not feel comfortable with me working out and going to the gym anymore and is suggesting I quit. I have always been slightly overweight in my 20s and 30s and really let go during the pandemic and gained a lot of weight. It started bothering me, and hence last January, I joined a local gym and hired a personal trainer. I lost most of the excess weight and the trainer also helped me gain muscle. I love going to the gym now and working out 3 to 4 times a week. My wife of course loved my dedication and I sometimes found her staring at me when I was changing, which was cute. Oh. Overall, my confidence improved, and I also started dressing nicely, and everything just fit right. I had a situation happen to me in the summer at my workplace. My wife's friend Barb also works in my company. Where does One this go? In my company JC, from a different department, started becoming very friendly with me. Started joining me for lunches and slacking me through the day about random topics. I would be busy and try to be polite and ignore her. However, things got weird when she got hold of my phone number and started messaging me after hours. I immediately drew a line, and told her it's not acceptable and only talk to me by a company messenger, as I do not talk to work colleagues on my personal phone. I also started ignoring her after that, except for a polite hello when we came face to face. My wife asked me to report her to HR, but I did not cause she never messaged me about anything inappropriate. My wife checked with her friend Barb, and she told my wife that JC and her oh, friends snap. were discussing my weight loss and how I have completely changed the way I dress. Again, I ignored it as I am not sure this was raised enough to be reported to HR. The day before yesterday, during our Christmas party, Jay approached me twice and asked me to join her on the dance floor. I declined and just went about my way. By the end of the night, she came to me, started dancing suggestively in front of me, and did something highly inappropriate. I was shocked and fell back spilling my drink on myself. JC's manager swooped in and told me she had too much to drink, and I never saw JC again at the party. When I reached Gross. home, my wife had already heard about the incident from Barb. She was crying and was angry at me. She blamed me for not reporting JC to HR when she had told me to. Oh. She also said I was drunk and stank like whiskey. <laughs> After I calmed her down, she asked me to shower and rest. She apologized before sleeping but told me she felt very violated by JC's actions and I promised her I would meet with my manager and HR as soon as the office opens again, which is afternoon. What? Years. No, what to the hint, no, not the story. ...and started getting ready to go to the gym. My wife asked me if I could not go to the gym. I said okay, and we both cooked a nice breakfast and had fun family time with our toddler. Afterward, my wife asked me if I could hold off going to the gym for a while. I already forgot. She told me that she feels insecure when other women look at me, and yesterday was a deal breaker. We never had any similar issues in the 11 years of our marriage. She loved me just the way I was and did not care if I became muscular. She okay. told me that the purpose of the gym was to lose weight and I have already achieved it, so I can just maintain where I am at and not work out further. Upon further probing, she told me that my losing weight had been a hot topic among her friends group, and she had a fallout with one of her friends because she made some sexual comments about me. All of this is making her very anxious. On one hand, I love working out now, for the first time in my life. It makes me feel confident. On the other hand, I want my wife to be happy, and this is a very small price to pay in my books. I know she is being insecure and controlling, but I love her and all I want to do is see her being comfortable and happy. I am holding off going to the gym till New Year's and enjoy the holidays with my family. However, Ada to want to continue after that. How do I convince my wife to not be insecure and what have people in this situation done? Relevant comments. So are you going to HR or not, because the gym is irrelevant here? Yes. 
Also HR person was literally standing 15 feet from where the incident happened, so I don't know if things will be already taken care of before I go back after New Year's. However, as you know it's different with me being a man, as mostly everyone around just chuckled at how drunk she was. That sucks. Is your wife overweight? No. She is one of those high metabolism person who can eat anything and still stay in shape. That is a crazy statement. I, on the other hand, can <laughs> <like a donut laughs> Why did they need thousand. to know that? Give your wife some time to work through some of these insecurities, but this doesn't mean you immediately quit. She also may change her mind about the gym stuff. Thanks. This exactly how I feel. Everyone who is saying she is insecure and quit, I am sure is either not married or should not get married. In marriage, I am sure people deal with these situations and work together to find a solution. It does not matter who is insecure or who is a problem. For context happily married for 11 years, my family is everything to me. I also understand where her insecurity is coming from, as another girl physically crossed a very important boundary with me two nights ago. I want to give her time to work out her emotions before even considering the next steps. Thanks for a very insightful comment. I think it's the shock of the event that led her to react that way. I would have also gotten angry if her co-worker hit on her in the same way. I think I just need to wait for her to process everything and then talk about it. She is a very sweet and understanding person. Can you go to the gym with your wife? Also sounds like Barb is a busybody sounds like your wife needs new friends all around. I am sure she would love to go to the gym. The thing is both our careers are very demanding, and she says she would rather spend her free time with our kid. I also have to wake up really early to go to the gym so that I can spend whatever free time I have in the evening with them. I also wish I was the first one to tell my wife after the incident and not Barb. I don't know if she embellished any facts while telling her what happened. Is this wrong? I didn't know about her friend's comments and issues until yesterday when she told me. It is really weird, and my guy friends do not talk inappropriately about our It makes wives. sense. Not sure this is something that is common among female friends. I mean the puzzle. How long did you let JC stand there and dance suggestively? I think should be between 15 to 30 seconds. I noticed JC was there and super drunk and everyone was staring at us. I immediately turned my back to her towards my teammates to try and ignore her. I am really sorry, you get hit on as I can tell you it was one of the most embarrassing thing I had to experience. Especially embarrassing. in front of everyone I work with and I had to be polite as to not cause a scene. Update post. TLDR, I am going back to the gym. I created a post yesterday about my wife not feeling comfortable with me working out and going to the gym anymore and is suggesting I quit. First of all, I did not think a million people will read my post and provide me with their perspectives. To be honest, after reading the comments during the few hours or so, I realized I was the author posting about my wife's reaction in such a sensitive situation. Cool. I just wanted to get perspectives from people in a comparable situation. However, I just had the internet judge her when she was at her most vulnerable. I tried to defend her in the comments section, but things got out of hand quickly, and I decided to just stop reading the comments for a while and plan my day. I wanted to thank a lot of people who pointed out that her insecurity may be stemming from me not showing her that she is the most important person to me. I cooked her a nice dinner and I asked her after dinner if I had been ignoring her due to the gym, or if I had given her any reason to mistrust me. According to her, I have been fine, but she has been having issues for many months now. She said she was proud of what I had achieved, and initially she used to feel good when everyone complimented oh. me. However, she did start getting insecure when I started receiving more female attention. She also felt I was enjoying it and didn't put enough boundaries. Her examples were a lot of my female friends were complimenting my body and getting handsy, and I didn't stop that. She also said that she caught some of her friends talking to me in a very flirty way, but I just kept on being polite and continued talking as normal. Also, 
she didn't like her friends talking about me or asking her constantly if I was going to come to the get-togethers. When one of her friends expressed some pretty disgusting thoughts to another friend in private, and she came to know, there was a big fight in their group. Some of her friends also cut contact with that friend. Overall, she has been struggling with these thoughts for the last six months and talks to her therapist about this. She also mentioned that food was an important part of our relationship. This placement feels right. I don't understand. She is an amazing cook and loves to bake. Although she still bakes for my kid, she said that I only eat in very small portions when she cooks nice meals for me. It feels as if she is only cooking for herself and has stopped making nice meals. She used to enjoy the fact that I liked her cooking. What happened to the music? She also misses oh. the food I used to cook for her. So we set some ground rules. Uh, what happened to the music? I will talk about how I am getting my 180 gm of protein every day. B when she cooks something nice, I will eat it and I will enjoy it. Whew, okay. She asked me to cook her favorite meals, and I must oblige. And of course, she never intended for me to stop going to the gym and was just upset with the whole situation, so that is resolved. As for JC, the situation is still ongoing. My manager talked to me the day after the incident and told me she wouldn't take it lightly and had already contacted HR. HR reached out to me yesterday afternoon. Good. To paraphrase their email, it talked about how they want to create safe workplace. Blah. Blah. JC gave a letter of apology to her manager and her manager forwarded it to HR. She said that she was offered too many shots and got blackout drunk and does not remember the end of the evening. She thanked her manager for taking her to her hotel room safely. She also offered to never drink alcohol at corporate events or during office happy hours. Good. HR set up a meeting with me and my manager after we get back from the break as they want to make sure I am okay. I wanted to get an opinion from anyone who works in HR here. I am going to tell my side of the story she including to go. The past messages, etc. However, what is the process that HR follows here? Fire her. What is really the point of this and what outcome should I expect? P.S. Thanks to people who messaged me about mental health stuff and PPD. I am sorry I ignored all of your chats but appreciate it. Relevant comments. So what are you going to do about her friends touching you or flirting with you? I honestly did not notice flirting, but did think it's normal for people to compliment you when you lose weight. I would do the same to my friends. I did notice that my friends do touch your arm or poke at the ABS sometimes. I am of course going to be mindful of it next time, as I now know my wife feels uncomfortable about it. An HR director chimes in and says OOP needs to document other instances of her behavior. Hi, thanks for your reply. My wife believes JC has already lawyered up, her apology letter was written by a competent lawyer and is sure will have zero recourse in this situation. I will tell them my side, but TBH would be just happy if she gets a warning and never have to deal with her again. A recipe. I will tell you a funny anecdote from yesterday. I cooked penne carbonara and garlic bread for our dinner. She knows I avoid bread and pasta and had not eaten pasta for many months now. But she loves it. She almost laughed out loud when she saw what I made. She had the biggest smile seeing me eat that. It's going to be one of my core memory. I follow this recipe. Oh, that was the end. Um, see you on next video. Bye. I hope you guys like the format.